about um, a cappella singing that um, you just you don't find anywhere else. on the upward stretch and uh, more and more people are, are taking part in it on a global um, scale and uh, Voices in Paradise is just hitting the nail on the head uh, with, with this genre of singing. icebreaker when you're singing all together. It's very fun, everyone's enjoying themselves and yeah, it's so, so many good vibes there. <laughs> I took my baby on a Saturday day Said it's that girl with you, yeah, we wanted to sing Yeah, I believe in miracles and a miracle has happened tonight Yeah, but if you're thinking about my baby, it don't matter there's so, much, there's so much fear surrounding guys singing because it's not the classic manly male stereotype. But the thing is, is that um, from being around people like Musical Island Boys, being around the Blenders, you see that there's nothing really more masculine than singing, which is which is really cool. Acapella, what we do here is not something that singles people out. It's bringing, you can't sing acapella with one person. You've got to at least have three, four people. And the bigger the group, the better. And it sounds better and it's pleasure to the years. just to be able to take it that step further and it's you might think it'd be scary but it's it's really not because everyone's in the same boat they're all having a great time and the energy that's coming out of those kids enthusiasm is just tremendous reward It just builds community feeling and I think that that's, uh, if we can fix that, we can fix the world. I heard it came to town, a new kind of rhythm spreading around, sort of set you sizzling, now I'm all through with symphony, but you did all right for me. Well you can't wipe this grin off my face, I've got to suck a lemon to get rid of it. I think if youth can have an outlet to express emotionally and know how creative they can be, it can only add to their world and their life's journey. Well, it might be me, but the way I see it, the whole wide world has gone crazy. So, baby, why don't we just Probably one of the best stay? things for me about last year was seeing how many kids who came here from um, other schools who perhaps they didn't have a music program there, to have them come here on that day um, and then experience, you know, such great artists and great coaching was just fantastic for everyone, just blew everyone away. It was just really surprising and really awe-inspiring to see how many singers want to come out and do this kind of event. It's just really cool.
we're providing a fantastic uh, experience for these young guys to to um, not only train all day with high class educators uh, like the Musical Island Boys and Ginger and Tonic who we've fl flown out, um, but also uh, perform at, uh, at night at a concert that is uh, huge and uh, gives them an experience they probably, most of them, haven't had before. We brought the Musical Island boys back because they did an absolutely fantastic job last year. They were so good, the crowd loved them and the kids t took to them so well and they learnt so much. So they've come back on board this year and they went, we're so humbled to have them again. Last year we had a great time. The groups were fantastic, the girls and the boys. Um, but we've done a little bit of work with them today and what, from what we've seen, uh, it's just a complete step up. So we are really looking forward to the concert tonight. Uh, we've been working with the boys this morning. The boys are doing really, really well. bigger response this year, there's more people involved, more girls, more boys, a lot more energy, a lot more enthusiasm from the team and uh, it's going to be a great evening this evening. Excited that uh, to be back at Voices in Paradise and to see so many young singers getting involved uh, in the event and getting involved in singing. It's really awesome, and the energy and the enthusiasm of those who are here today is really exciting, especially for the boys. You know, for uh, boys who are kind of starting to break the mold that singing is not cool. You know, it is cool. We're pretty cool. It's it's cool. cool. For the rest of your days, the rest of your days, it's a problem free. Because we brought in ginger and tonic uh, to catch the girls and, and last year we didn't have a specific coaching group for the girls, um, I think it's made a world of difference right from the get-go. The, the ginger and tonic were just excellent, the girls were singing really well. In fact, I think the competition between the girls and the boys is, is right on now. It's, it's, um, it's going to be a, a competition for who's singing best and uh, and who's moving best. And I think the girls might have the edge in, in the movement. It's not about the money, money, money. We don't need your money, money, money. We just want to make the world dance. Don't forget about the price tag. Ain't about the cha-ching, um, cha-ching. Ain't about the, yeah, but bling but bling Want to make the world dance. Forget about the price tag. It's been so good already this morning. Like The energy in the room. The commitment from all the girls has been fantastic. They're all so focused and want to make this a really great performance tonight and learn a lot. And it's, yeah, it's been really positive so far. Just get out there, join a choir. Um, singing is something that everyone has a voice. And it's just like anything else. The more you practice, you know, the more confident you get, the better you can get at it. Like everyone can do it. So you should get out there and have a try. I can't believe this is only the second year and um, you know the stage is full and I just think it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger.